morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. Welcome to a random ramble catch up. This is going to be more about football than anything else, but I'm going to start it off here at this place. The rotting carcass, which may or may not, if rumour is true, be not long for this world. Rumour has it, this place might be gone in a few years. Now the roof has gone in a lot of places. A lot of the roof has gone massively. And quite a few fires and other shizzle gone through here. There's a lot of other stuff. I did explore this place, I think in 2017, 2018. Might have even been early 2019. But I would not ever set foot in there again after some of the stuff that I've seen on other people's videos and look, looking at it from the outside you can see how bad it is in there it is a trap and a half so there's broken vents all over the place and this place is just immense but I mean there are people braver than me that will go in there, and I have been in there, but I would not go in there after knowing what I know of how bad that structure is in there. So, while I walk around to just give you some other vantage points, I'm still walking around the path on the outside of the fencing, as you can see there's the fences on this side of me. So I'm not actually walking inside the fencing. But, Looking at all of this and of how bad that is, of how damaged that wall is. I uh, know, I did work in the system mill, well, our system mill to this place, as a uh, call centre operative, but I wouldn't trust it. I would not trust those posts or anything that's in there, because that is a very compromised structure. Just looking at how that wall is as well that could come forward at any point in a decent sized gust a lot of that roof trussing structures is probably compromised as well up there so that is uh, going to be quite a wild one this is going to be more tainted and more stuff to do with the football really more than anything but I'm just going to hold you out and give you a bit of an extra vantage point and give you something else to look at rather than my fez but yeah, um, so there is rumours and rumblings of as of last night, so Sunday night into well, early Monday morning, that the guys that own uh, Wigan Athletic have put the club up for sale and have, an agree and have agreed in principle with an entity, person or persons. No one knows that one yet. No one knows any identity of who that person is. Uh, or anything like that. Now there is also rumours that there is 15 million of debt or plus more, plus or minus, whatever, going on with the club. Especially because of all the fiasco that happened with not paying the players five times. Five times. Yes people, you heard that correct. Five times. They failed to sell, not sell, but they failed to pay the people in the place. So, all being said, whoever this person is, is apparently British based. Now, knowing some of the other ins and outs and dodgy um, shizzle that could go on, British based could mean anything from someone who won the Euro Millions and uh, wants to splash out on a new toy or a foreign person or foreign conglomerate or umbrella or whatever that sets up a British based company or shell company and then has a British address to then use it. So as far as I'm aware British based could mean anything so that could basically be meaningless. It literally could be some hot shot from the middle of Tokyo wanting to throw his money away. Now, all that being said, a lot of people have been saying that it's Lenigan and some of the others, which, to be honest, because no one knows who is actually the person, it could well be Lenigan and Danson. 
It could be wheeling. It could be someone to do with wheeling. It could be anything. No one knows any truth about what is actually happening with the club. And now we're back out of the, uh, what seems like a forest, back into the sunlight. And I'm gonna sit my uh, posterior here, whilst I've got a bush behind me. So no one knows the actual thing about what's going on with that. It could be anything and anyone. Now, a lot of the other stuff that's going on, I know it's kind of banter, going on about, oh, whoever it is, hopefully they'll put the rent up and get rid of rugby. Oh, it stinks. Oh. Come on. So if you're an owner of, of a club and you've got a stadium that's used, what? 23 times a season for home games? Plus, what? Three, four FA Cup games, if you get that far. A couple of League Cup games. A handful of Pizza Cup games. You know, stuff like that. So what? Call it. 30 something games in total being used. And then you've got a tenant that uses it about 15, you know, 15 ish times in a season. Maybe even 20 times in a season. And then it gives you a guaranteed income. Why would you want to throw? guaranteed income all right it might only be what say two two and a half million something like that whatever the agreement is you know it could be something tiny but you've got a guaranteed income coming in somewhere so at least you've got money coming in but would you rather have a stadium that's just sat there and not really used all that much about them for one solo use or wouldn't you rather share it this is the problem with the rent share but also the other thing is, when you're only getting 10, 11, 12,000 in, which makes it about half full, it's a 25,000 and bare change. It's like 25,133 seats or something daft like that. It's not quite 25 on the button, but it just gives a couple of extra seats. But still, you've got that coming in. So would you rather have your stadium just solely for you or would you rather have an extra bit of income plus all the bits and pieces now all being said whoever it is that buys the club if they do buy the club and they are good, good at paying and they'll sort it all out and they've got a little bit then yeah the club could well do okay in this one <clears throat> well then again everyone said that, that under <clears throat> the current owners the ones that have turned into a bit of a farce now ideally the club was kind of ever so slightly in a better position before administration now they're in a slightly worse predicament rumoured 15 million in debt plus minus 8 points some people are saying it's going to end up at minus 12 points at this rate but I don't really think so as far as I know it's only minus 8 but still there's a lot of stuff to find out and a lot of stuff to catch up so I'm putting that one to you the people would you rather lose a guaranteed income and force out a team that brings in a little bit of money for you because you're obviously getting a little bit on the food and bev as well somewhere or someone's getting something on the food and bev and everything else but whoever this owner is hopefully they don't screw it up because it's already screwed up enough as it is you can't exactly get more screwed up than what it already is with how that works and the wind almost took the phone out of my hand my thumb was sliding but all being said progress is progress as long as the team don't go under it's all fine but I really do not understand why there's so much hate between the two between Warriors and between Latics or Latics and Warriors anyone that watches my videos will know I am more 
to do with the rugby anyway because I've always been more of a rugby fan than a football fan. Football is just something just to kill some time. And because I'm in Wigan and the team is a bigger team than what Charlie is, I'll go watch Wigan rather than jumping on a bus and going watching Charlie. Maybe it's just because I like being able to actually sit properly and standing up all the time. Even though I do stand a lot for rugby, but still. As for everything else, since I'm going to tail this away, whenever the football season ha happens to start and I can afford to go, I will start going. Rugby, there's going to be a vlog which will um, sorry, be at the um, Wigan and Wire game in the Challenge Cup. So I will be there. There is a high chance that I will have um, co-host with the Revo. So we'll get his um, views, opinions and all of that lot on there as well. Of how he thinks it's going, how he feels it's going, yada yada yada. Um, any other rugby stuff will happen at the random. I'm going to be constantly continuing to film with um, all of the other stuff to do with the uh, galleries and the demolition of that. Also, I will be putting up um, more gaming stuff again because I'm most likely going to be getting um, F1 23 and streaming that on Twitch. So the um, archive vlog from that will go up a day or two later on YouTube. So you guys will see that. I will hopefully at some point be jumping back on and doing more um, rifty insanity on Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart on the uh, PS5. So more of the archive of that will go up. Um, anything else in there? I don't know. Random blogs on the fly, more rather than this catch. That's obviously going to um, come up soon as well. I don't really know what else I'm going to do. Anyway. Since I'm um, rambling on a bit too much now and my throat has been quite dry, I will bid you adieu. See you Sunday, see you in the stars. <laughs>